Okay guys, I got this idea off of ballpythons.net and it's about taking cardstock and putting it as a backdrop to your closure. The idea behind this is threefold. First off, when the animal is pressed up against the glass in its hiding spot, like in this bush up here, you know, it feels safe. Secondly, the black actually holds in a little bit of heat. Third, it just looks nice. For about five dollars you can get uh, simple stock of these uh, construct black construction paper, a little bit of scotch tape. When all said and done you will need about four of these to do one ten gallon tank. The simple theory here is to be able to get this thing taped up in such a way that you can remove it in one piece for cleaning and reuse it again. First you want to start with your back piece. Take one square, line it up with your edges, a piece of tape in the center, and a piece of tape on the corners, the top and bottom. Okay, for your edges, what you're going to do is fold it over, like that, both top and bottom, and then run a crease completely down the side. Next you're going to tape up here, down here, and in the middle. Since you only got one free hand, this is what your tape job is going to look like. Next thing you're going to do is put it on the second side, and you notice there's an overlap. You're going to want to take care of that, putting a piece of tape right about here. Right there, and in the middle, and down below. Remember how we put on this corner? We're going to do to that side. And there's the finished product. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect from the outside, it just has to look nice on the end. I just showed you how to do a 10 gallon horizontal like this. Here's some other kinds of enclosures you can do with this idea. As seen in the beginning, this is a 20 gallon long. It's a 12 by 12 by 18 exoterra that I did. 5 gallon arboreal. 10 gallon arboreal, 10 gallon horizontal, eventually a 25 gallon, a fresh air atrium, and that 10 gallon will be done. Well, there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, maybe you can take this idea and use it for yourself. I know all my enclosures are eventually going to get this treatment and uh, I definitely look forward to making an update video on this with regards to uh, the cleanings and uh, how well they hold up over the, t over the course of uh, you know about a couple of months here. So uh, look for an update and um, thanks for watching.